Here's a quick guide on hooking up your C101 and getting it connect to our cloud platform. First, for the hardware connection, plug the power cable into the C101. Plug in the network cable. Connect your RS485 sensor to the C101. Now let's head to the cloud connection part. Go to remotemonitor.com and create an account if you haven't already. Just enter your name, email, and password. On the left side menu, click Gateway and select TCP Gateways. Click New the edge of C101. Give it a name. Select C101 as equipment type and enter the serial number and MAC address. You can find it printed on the back of the C101 and in the local settings. Depending on your project needs, you can set the time interval to control how frequently the C101 sends data to the cloud. The maximum interval allowed is 5 minutes. Click Confirm to complete the setup. Next, let's get to the network settings. Your PC needs to be on the same network as the C101. Go to your Ethernet network settings and change them to match the C101 IP address and subnet max. For the final part, local settings, open a new browser and type in the C101 default IP address. Log in with admin for both the username and password. Click RS485 and fill in the info for your sensor. For instance, the bar rate for our weather station is 9600. Go to TCP configuration and make sure work mode is set to TCP client. Enter the remote server address and local remote port number. Choose MAT as register for registry type. Click Save and then Restart Module to make sure everything takes effect. Click Local IP Configuration on the left side menu. If your router has DHCP, set IP type to DHCP Auto IP. If not, set it to Static IP and get your IP subnet gateway and DNS info from your network administrator. If you are using our sensor, please check out our weather station quick setup guide on how to link sensor to our cloud platform. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot us an email.